Sixty years ago, Prince Karim Aga Khan IV succeeded his grandfather, Sir Sultan Mahmoud Shah Aga Khan, as the Imam of the Shia Ismaili Muslims. At just 20 years old, the Aga Khan was responsible for leading the global community of the Shia Ismaili Muslims that are today 15 million in number, spread across 25 countries. Born in Geneva in 1936, spending his childhood in Nairobi, Kenya, schooling in Switzerland, and eventually Harvard University, the Aga Khan certainly was a child of the world. This rich and diverse experience, coupled with his lineage tracing back to the Prophet Muhammad, would groom him for the role he has held for the last 60 years. When representatives of the Western world, especially the Western media, try to describe the work of our Aga Khan Development Network in fields like education, health, the economy, media, and the building of social infrastructure, reflecting a certain historical tendency of the West to separate the secular from the religious. They often describe it either as philanthropy or entrepreneurship. What is not understood is that this work is for us a part of our institutional responsibility. It flows from the mandate of the office of the Imam to improve the quality of worldly life for the concerned communities. As founder and chairman of the Aga Khan Development Network, or AKDN, the Aga Khan has carried out his mandate in over 30 countries in Central and South Asia, Eastern and Western Africa, and the Middle East. AKDN spends 925 million US dollars annually on nonprofit social and cultural development activities, operating more than 200 health care institutions, two universities spanning six countries, as well as 200 schools and school improvement programs. As you build your lives for yourselves and others, you will come to rest upon certain principles. Central to my life has been a verse in the Holy Quran which addresses itself to the whole of humanity. It says, O mankind, fear your Lord who created you of a single soul and from it created its mate and from the pair of them scattered abroad many men and women. This remarkable verse speaks both of the inherent diversity of mankind and of the unity of mankind. It is a driving philosophy that has been felt the world over and will be celebrated today to commemorate the Aga Khan's Diamond Jubilee. Global ceremonies taking place today will be hosted by the Ismaili community and will see the launching of new social, cultural and economic development projects. Victoria Rubadiri, NTV.